Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to another Pokemon Day monotype battle. Yes, today we've got Flappers, the Star Raptor with the Choice Scarf. Awesome. Uh, kind of a setup Skarmory there. Terra is my Landorus with Swords Dance. We've got a Mega Evolving Charizard. Evolves into Charizard X. Uh, Wiggles is a Moxie Choice Scarf Gyarados. And Firma is a Poison Heal Gliscor with Fling. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Skarmory just so we can get the Stealth Rocks up. Looks like he has a Ghost Type team, so... It's not exactly an uphill battle for either of us, which is a good thing. Um, he's got his Frostless out here. I guess I will go for Stealth Rock because that thing is going to get hurt 25% every time it switches in, which will be freaking crazy. Oh, I've missed these Monotype battles and random battles and just uh, Pokemon Day battling. The Nuzlocke is not performing as well as I would like, so I'm thinking about putting it on hiatus, but it's close to being over anyways. So, uh, yeah, I'm just sort of looking towards what's next. He confuses my Skarmory, which is not nice, so I'm gonna switch that sucker out of there. And, uh, we're gonna bring in my Charizard. I think, hopefully he'll be able to, to resist some of the things that are coming. Yeah, so he comes at me with a nice move. It is neutral on my Fire Flying type, and I'm gonna Mega Evolve it now and hit that thing with a Fire Blast. I do have Defog on my Charizard just to get rid of Stealth Rocks because that is a big threat for a, a Monotype Flying team. Everything I have is gonna take at least 25. Well, not Skarmory or, or Gliscor or Landorus. I built it to be really strong because of Stealth Rocks, uh, but Ice really does fuck it up, so I'm glad I'm able to take out the frostless there with uh, a nice a nice fire blast to the face and he did get the toxic on me but whatever that's just fine and now he's got a, a hone edge I believe it's called so yeah I could burn that thing probably no problem right maybe try and roost up through it see what he's gonna do I don't know if there's a penalty he has a move called King Shield that drops the attack of anything that hits it, but I don't know if it works against special attacks. Yeah, there he uses it, so I'm going to take that opportunity to roost up, and uh, now I can hit him with a Fire Blast because he's used his Protect. He has very little chance to do it again, so um, hopefully he'll just leave it in here, but I think that that Jellicent is going to come into play. Nope. Nope, not at all. That thing fucking takes a fire blast to the face. Yeah, he swords dances it up here. But I don't know how much that's gonna matter, really. I do have Toxic ticking away on my Charizard, which is not good. I should probably not keep him in here for uh, too long. So yeah, we'll bring in the Gliscor. He's got great fucking physical defense. Oh my god. But if I get hit with that uh, King Shield, it's not gonna be nice. So... I'm, I don't want to fling because it's going to waste the uh, toxic effect of my fling. So I think substitute is the move here. He's not going to king shield again, is he? Oh, he does. Nice. All right. So now that I'm behind the substitute, I can start setting up swords dances and whatnot. And even though I don't have earthquake, I was hoping he'd just be scared out. Um, but no, he's in here for the long haul. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he stayed in here on Charizard. I don't know why I thought Glissor would scare him out. So yeah, he's in his little attacking mode. I'm going to go ahead and try and smack him with an acrobatics. Probably he's going to King Shield and drop my attack back to normal. Yeah, I see it coming. God damn it. <laughs> but um, I will outlast him. I do have the poison heal. I just have to work this, this fight around if he's going to be stubborn. <laughs> I'm going to be just as stubborn as he is. I could bring the Charizard back in, uh, but now this thing has a sword stance up, so it'll really fuck him up. And uh, I don't know if he has anything that has Stealth Rocks. I'm looking at that Golurk thinking maybe. But, um, yeah, I'd like to keep my Charizard alive. He can threaten even the Trevenant on his team, so he's still got some use. Damn, that Retaliate hurts with the sword stance up. Well, 
I think he's going to uh, King Shield. So yeah, we'll Sword Stance up one more time. And that should give us the punching power on Acrobatics. Even though it's not powered up, I still fucking have the Toxic Orb for Fling. But I know it's going to fuck up a, a Pokemon that's not part Steel type. So here comes the Sword Stance. And uh, he predict protects as predicted. <laughs> and yeah, I think it's time. No. Acrobatics. <laughs> acrobatics. I don't want to waste the toxic effect. Uh, it would power up my acrobatics, but I think we can work through it. I can I can punch my way through him. It's no problem. I hate this Pokemon so much. He is awesome to have on your team, but man is it a pain in the ass. That retaliate boy, let me tell ya. Mm. Um, is he gonna King Shield again? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble it okay, because I do have two sword stances. So if he does King Shield, it'll take one sword stance away. Yeah, he does. Totally does. Fuck a dick bag. This is taking forever. It's just a, a standoff between Gliscor and Hone Edge here. But once I break this thing, uh, basically I'm free to run rampant through his team. I'm gonna go for the acrobatics again. Hopefully he comes at me with something. Um, I'm not scared, like I do have the offensive momentum at this point in the battle. Uh, his Frostless was really the only thing that scared most of my team, and it's dead. It's dead and gone forever! <laughs> Alright, Acrobatics, yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Only does 20%, he retaliates for a shit ton. Oh man, I think he's gonna King Shield again, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and get that second Sword Stance up. Three times attack should be able to take this fucking thing out. Wow, what a monster! But uh, Gliscor, Gliscor's doing the thing too. He's he's not he's not pulling any punches. So yeah, there's the King Shield. Ha uh ha! -huh. Wrong move. Wrong move. Now I break. And I think Acrobatics is going to be able to KO this turn. It did 36 last time. I had two sword stances up. 36%. So I don't know. Min Max is kind of weird. Yeah. Ah, that's alright. He does retaliate, but he is definitely in range to uh, be taken down with another acrobatics. I kind of want Sword Sense again because I know he's gonna King Shield. He's a very predictable opponent, it seems, and a very stubborn one. He doesn't seem to want to switch anything out, which uh, is working to my advantage, honestly. So I do lose the Swords Dance there because I hit him with this King Shield up. But I think I can kill it this turn. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. This fucking thing. I, we did like 20% with one sword Dance up. So yeah. Goodbye to this uh, Excalibur. That's a great name. That's an awesome name. <laughs> Nick. Nick. 101. 101. I took you to school. 101. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Nick. I don't mean to do that. He's trying to decide what to do right now. It is a, a tense moment in this battle. Everybody, hold on to your pants. Who knows what the outcome of this is going to be? Except for Dayton, who told you like 30 seconds ago. But that's all right. There's the acrobatics. Yeah, boy. Now I got wings. Just like Liscor. See that shit? Sponsored by Red Bull. Because I drink it and they pay me for it. <laughs> so what can he send in? Kafagrigus is probably a, a strange pick, but he does hit the special defensive side, which is not my strong suit. So I'm gonna sub up here, and uh, Toxic Toxic is a great thing for Gliscor. Basically, I'm healing um, more than leftovers per turn. I think it's like almost almost a quarter, a fifth or a sixth of his health per turn. So yeah, six turns and he's back up to full health. It is a devastating thing. He tried to burn me there, uh, probably expecting the switch, but that's not gonna happen. I fucking nail him with uh, my Toxic Orb. Finally, it comes to good use. <laughs> and uh, it took way more trouble than it was worth, honestly. I should just put Earthquake on it and forget about Fling, but it's so fun to have these gimmicky movesets. I like it a lot. Oh, wow. He puts a, his Kafagrigus puts a curse on my Charizard, 
which is interesting because he didn't lock it in here or anything like that. So I'm just going to switch right back out to Gliscor and avoid all that damage. And uh, maybe Infestation, does that hold you in? I don't think it does it either. Yes, it does. It does, definitely. But he's too late. Glissor's back in here. Fuck off. And I don't really see what he could do. Probably the Jellicent, which should have made its appearance a long, long time ago, will come in here. And I think Gyarados is probably a good pick if we can get it low enough on health. No, Gyarados is a terrible pick because Jellicent has water absorb sometimes. Ugh. Who knows, man? Pokemon is just such a giant chess match. I can't stop playing this game. Been with me since I was a kid. Yes, ma'am. There's the Jellicent. That's uh, pretty scary to me. I don't have anything to fling at it. We'll bring in the uh, Charizard. Either as a sacrifice or... Okay, he goes for Ice Beam instead of a Water Move, which I guess is good. Uh, I could try and roost up and hold through this, but... I see the water move coming, so we're just gonna go... Yeah, we should just Air Slash. Air Slash! Put the damage on it. I want to work that thing down real hard, because uh, it's a it's a pretty big threat to uh, my Landorus, my Gliscor. My Skarmory's probably not gonna be able to take that many hits from it either, uh, nor is my Star Raptor. So Charizard sacrifices his life. He did flinch that Jellicent, so I didn't get to see if he was going to use a water move or not. He died to Toxic, that's so sad. Alright, that's fine. In comes the Star Raptor. We're going to Brave Bird the shit out of this thing. Yeah. Punch a hole. Hopefully it doesn't hit me with Will-O-Wisp. I think with a Choice Band, my Star Raptor should be able to take it out. Um, but that depends on if his Jellicent is built for physical or special defense. Yes, quite a question indeed. Hmm. And I think it's Special D. Yep, yep, yep. So goodbye. Goodbye to it. Uh, the Trevenant is going to get eaten by Star Raptor. The Golurk. What could he have? Ice Punch, maybe? I think we got this one in the bag. It's uh, two pokes against five pokes in my favor. And he does bring the Trevenant in here, presumably for Will-O-Wisp or some such, but he's going to be way, way slower than Star Raptor. I know that much for sure. Even if Trevenant has a Choice Scarf or something weird like that, Star Raptor is just so much faster with his base speed that uh, that thing is doomed. I'm not sure why he sent it out here, honestly. Yep. Cost me 30% of my health to uh, destroy that thing forever. Dang. So is he gonna quit? Are you gonna quit? Are you gonna go home? Are you gonna cry? <laughs> Don't cry. I didn't want to make you cry. I'm sorry. It's just the game. It's just the game. Come back, Nick. 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 Buddy. <laughs> oh, man. I do want to see what trick that Golurk has up its sleeve. Like, if it gets rock polished and just starts ice punching all my shit and has, like, thunder punch for Gyarados, it, c it could be uh, a big turnaround. You never really know. So, I'm glad he uh, decided not to go home. He came right back for us. <laughs> I'm still gonna hit the Brave Bird, because I am uh, Choice Scarfed into it. <laughs> and it gets a critical hit. <laughs> oh, man. So this has been another Poke Mondays. Uh, we didn't get to see much of uh, Landorus or Gyarados, but I still hope you enjoyed the episode. Nice little Monotype flying, which uh, with Stealth Rocks in the game is really, really hard to do. Luckily, this guy didn't even try none of those tricks, so we were able to sacrifice Charizard and almost body bag him. Almost 6-0. Almost. I hope you almost like, comment, and or subscribe, or really do it. That would be nice, too. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope you join us for the next time, friends. Until then, bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.